You both, you both have been spending lots of time together. It's true. Uh, when you made the movie, mm -hmm. since making the movie. Melissa, what was your first impression of Elizabeth Moss? Well, not my, what my first impression was, what I thought and I had geared myself up for for quite a while because I'm, I'm sure like everyone, I'm a pretty uh, weird fan of it, of, of Elizabeth, you know, of everything she's ever done. So I was like, it's gonna be intense. <laughs> it's going to be intense. Mm. I'm gonna try to not make a fool of myself. <laughs> I wanna keep up. I'm gonna be super prepared, like just everything. And I did have an image of her walking into a room and being like, I am Elizabeth Moss. <laughs> and just like flames and like, and just flames. like Chaucer books and weird facts that I'm like, I don't know anything about that. And uh, <laughs> she's not like that at all. You're great, but you're not weird. <laughs> And it was really fun, and we got along right away, and she's a great enabler. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's all that really matters When did to you me. know that you'd become friends? When, what was the moment? Very clear moment. <laughs> Very clear. Sitting in a bar. Yeah. <laughs> Sitting a, a fake bar. Yeah. Sitting in a fake bar, and she showed me something she wanted to buy online. Do you mind if I tell them what No, I don't. Was? I'm proud of it. I'm proud of it. Tell As everyone. you should be. It's a, it was a giant fiberglass uh, yellow or gold Yellow, yellow horse. A horse. Yes. Because you're my, into this. You're into size. big animals in the garden. Yeah. <laughs> Aren't you? That puts a real weird no. spin on it. Fiberglass <laughs> animals. You've got like huge gorillas in your garden and things like that. Well, when you say it like that, yes. <laughs> Creepy, it's gonna be creepy, but it was and, it yes. was life size. And it's she life said, size. Do you think do you do you think this <laughs> do you think I should get this? And I looked at it and I said, Yes. <laughs> and literally my eyes went to hearts and I was like, You're everything I've ever wanted you to be. <laughs> And she's like, get that horse. Get and currently that horse is in my backyard. Mm -hmm. but, but, now, where do you find these horses? Where are you oh, going? On Etsy. On where? On Etsy. On Etsy, Etsy is like, I spend, there's a very challenging part of my, like, if I'm up at like from 4 to 6 a.m., it, it, it's just like there's like a wind tunnel in my living room of like, do I need new canisters from the 70s? Yes! <laughs> I don't Belts, see, I everything. don't really know what Etsy is. Is this a part oh, of your life? Yes, Elizabeth? but mainly because of Melissa. <laughs> oh no. Oh, welcome. <laughs> mainly because of I'm obsessed with her obsession with it and right. enabling her buying yeah, things welcome. on Etsy. <laughs> I will say yes to anything. Are you thinking that this is some sort of addiction? Is that what we're talking about? An Etsy? Yeah, like like exercising is. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I love like that. Like I exercise exactly. too much and I go on Etsy yeah. too much. <laughs> Now, Melissa, of course, uh, we all know you've got your big break on the Gilmore Girls. Yes. Um, <laughs> when, you, when you first started on that show, what was it like meeting fans of the show? Well, it was really nice, because that's the first time, I mean, I'd done so many off, 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 off off-Broadway plays that really it was always just like seven of my friends that I'd paid to be there. So it's, it's kind of amazing to uh, get to do a show that people like. I, what is weird is on Warner Brothers, where we shot it, they, they, all these trolleys go around and it's, you know, 30, 40 people on little, like, they're like never-ending golf carts. And um, there's just stuff that you should, no one tells you when like, oh, by the way, it's an electric vehicle, so you can't hear us coming. Yes. <laughs> and they kind of, kind of creep up on you. And I was pregnant. I was pregnant a lot on that show. I think I had like <laughs> 16 to 18 kids. Yeah. <laughs> on the show, and there was a time. It was for the record. It was a, I had a pregnancy belly on. Yeah. And at the time, like when people slept on set, it was back in the day. Sure. Uh, it was like 71. <laughs> um, <laughs> And people would smoke, and I was like, hey, I'll smoke. I don't yeah. usually, but sure. Yeah. I have no sense of self. Sure. <laughs> um, and, I, we, and I thought it was a great bit. Um, I would, yeah, it's not, gonna, it's not gonna end well. I would, so we would be like on a break, and I was having a cigarette, and I'd punch, I'd take a drag, I'd punch the pregnancy belly, and then I'd go, <laughs> And people were laughing, and then I did it again, and then every, the second time I did it, everyone's like, no, not, it's not. That's, 
not, not okay. And I was like, well, that's weird, because a minute ago you did it. I'll do it again. Oh, wow. <laughs> Big inhale, double punch, <laughs> lots of smoke. And then they were all just like, turn around, turn around. <laughs> and there's 45 people standing behind me on like a tour of Warner Brothers. Oh, <laughs> God. And I was like, it's not a real belly. It's not a real belly. I'm not really pregnant. They were what? just like. <laughs> no. Like, they were at, like, people were pointing and saying, like, no, and, like, that's not okay. And then I was like, do I lift my shirt and show them, like... <laughs> and I got caught... By the way, I didn't learn my lesson, and I did it, like, three months later, and I got caught again. Because <laughs> I thought it was... I thought it was a funny bit, and yeah. I got caught the second time, and I've never done it since. <laughs> wow. So... It is a funny bit, though. Not, not for a crowd. <laughs> and Elizabeth, you, of course, well, you worked with uh, one of Melissa's Gilmore, Girl, uh, Gilmore Girls yeah, co-stars, Alexis, Alexis, on yeah. The Handmaid's Tale. Were you a fan of the Gilmore Girls? I was a bit later. I ended up watching it, actually, during seasons one and two of The Handmaid's Tale. It's a little bit of a palate cleanser. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was already friends with Alexis. I know her husband, Vinny, worked on Mad Men, went to their wedding, and she was on Mad Men. Like, I knew her outside of Gilmore Girls, and I knew her from working on Handmaid's Tale, and I loved her, and we got along really well, and I had so much respect for her. And and, um, and then I watched, started watching Gilmore Girls, and our sort of whole, I felt really different <laughs> around her, because now she was just Roy Gilmore to me. Of course. <laughs> and I, I was, every time I'd see her, we'd be really serious on the show, and we'd be doing a serious scene, and we'd be talking about serious stuff, and then I'd just, inside, I'd just be like, <laughs> Roy Gilmore's talking to you. <laughs> And I, I, by the way, I've never told her this. Oh. I've never told her because I don't want her to be like, oh, I don't know. I don't want her to be. Well, this is the perfect way for her to find out. <laughs> Stick around, we're with these two when we come back. <laughs>